So this is Rena, and on Rena we're going to create a look for nighttime. Typically, when we think of night, we think, well, let's just go a little bit darker. So we're going to take a little bit of a different approach, and we're going to do something very modern. We're going to use brights instead of darker tones to really make Rena's eyes pop, It'll be shimmery, it'll be fun, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can actually use Eve Organics eyeshadows to create different effects with the same color. So Rena has acneic skin, she has acne, and Rena has already been prepped with the Clarity line under the Eve Organics umbrella. Clarity is a line designed specifically for acne prone skin. So we've uh, cleansed her skin, we've used toner, we've used the moisturizing serum, and she is good to go. So we are going to find Rena's perfect foundation color, and um, we're going to use light caramel, which actually we have already predetermined to be Rena's best color. So let's take a look and make sure. Let's have you turn this way and we'll apply just a little bit. Let's see how we do. So Rena has a little bit of acne scarring and our best bet in this case is really to blend in between the different tones within Rena's skin. So this looks great. And this color, light caramel, will definitely even out her skin tone. So we're going to actually do something a little bit different. And we're going to finish Rena's complexion after we've done her shadow. And the reason is that I'm going to use some very heavily pigmented colors to um, create Rena's look. This is all about the eyes. And um, instead of having to go in and clean up after if anything should fall on her cheeks, it's a little bit easier when we're working with some of the brighter colors, some of the um, colors of a little bit more depth to uh, really perfect the complexion after we do her eyes. So, I'm going to prep Rena's lid with a little bit of light caramel foundation. Close. We're going to balance Rena's brows with silky cocoa eyeshadow. And again, the shadow adheres much better to the lid if we are able to put a little bit of foundation down first. It's a really great base for color.